morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of Oaks Radio, so today we're opening a Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer Box from Twilight Masquerade. Last week, a couple of weeks ago, I opened a regular Elite Trainer Box that was gifted to me by the lovely folks at Pokemon, but now the set is out. We've got a Pokemon Center exclusive one to look at, and that makes me very, very happy indeed. This is a release day opening. I'm opening this on the release day of the set. There is a chance that I'm actually going to be uploading this a day after release. Release weekend, so to speak. So apologies if that ends up being the case. But I am opening it on release day, and that's what counts. I'm not going to go through in huge detail showing you all of the cards from the set. We did that when I opened one in a hotel room in Stockholm. So, yeah, that's um, that's cool. I like Twilight Masquerade. So, what is different for those of the, the uninitiated? What is different about the Pokemon Center exclusive? Well, you get two extra packs. And you also get... Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Two of the promos. So, you get your regular Ogapon promo. Come on. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. And you get your Pokemon Center stamped. Ogapon promo. I like the card, like the artwork, and I have actually got the, the Japanese version of the card. Came in a, a little set of a bunch of packs of Mask of Change. I've got one of them in the post as well. Uh, there are the sleeves that I forgot to show you last time. They're Ogapon sleeves. They're fine. And there's the, the dice are different as well. So there's the dice. You, you don't buy these for the dice. Maybe you do for the sleeves. It's about the packs and the promos. I've showed you the promos. Let's get to the packs. And with it being a Pokemon Center exclusive, that means we have 11 packs to open. And that makes me happy. Last time around, we ended up with Special Illustration Rare Carmine and Full Art Lana. Which, as far as I'm concerned, pretty awesome. Can we beat it this time? Let's find out, shall we? That's what we're looking for. We've got your Chimchar, your Pinsir, love the Hagen Suke artwork. There's your Rillaboom, we missed a handy fan. There's more Peko. There's Whirlipede. Sand Slash. And Ogapon. Same card, in fact, as the promo. But um, you know, the regular version. So, not a great start. But, you know, you, you often you, you we're gonna have a few packs at least that are basically like that. Where you get yourself two random reverse hollows and a random hollow, and they are uninspiring. But hopefully, there's going to be a few packs in here where we hit good stuff. There's a Palisand. Palisand, always special to me because my boy likes Palisand. There's your Timber. Spinarak. Hisui and Growlithe. There's a Hassle with a Ditto on the wall. There's your Polyrath. Scolipede. We've got Lana's Aid as a Rev Hollow. Swirlix as a Rev Hollow. And there we go. First good card from the pack. We've got ourselves a Half Flame Mask Ogre Pond EX. Fits very nicely into any fire deck you might be playing. Great combo with Magma Basin. Because you do extra damage if you've got damage counters on. Magma Basin will accelerate energy while putting damage on. It works out rather nicely. Okay. So we got ourselves a decent EX to start off with. Of course, if you look at the EXs in this set, it's Dragapult, yeah? Dragapult is the big EX in this set. Over in Japan... Price-wise, all of the full arts were being priced out by regular Dragapult, except for, obviously, Dragapult. Okacheke Diplin, absolutely love it. There's your Grookey. There's Jinx. And an Alakazam Hollow. Not what we were dreaming of. Not terrible. It's fine. Oh, I love Elite Trainer Boxes. I like getting lots of packs. I've ordered a box. We'll see what time it gets here. So we got a Poliwag. And we got an Ipom. And a Daramaka. We got Corfish. Bug Catching Set. We got Ambipom. Agron. Mighty and a Rev Hollow. Farigaraf Rev Hollow. Hey! That is a good pull. I can't remember if I said or I meant to say one of the best pulls, of course, given what I just said a second ago, is Full Art Dragapult. There is no special illustration rare. So this is the best version of Dragapult that you can get. Oh, it's wonderful. Full Art Pokemon are generally a bit meh. Full Art Dragapult, however, 
is not. That is a great start. And I tell you what, Twilight Masquerade so far, a couple of elite trader boxes in, hitting your special illustration rare, Kieran, full art Lana, full art Dragapult. We are hitting nicely. Hi, going to Suke Chansey. Adore it. Yeah, it's going quite well, honestly. It's going quite well. Legend Haps Tamer, that's back. We got Illumise. We got Chimchar. And we've got the Akira Igawa Heatran. Oh, it's hard to complain. If we can get like one more decent hit from this box, maybe an illustration rare as well. This is going to turn into a phenomenal elite trainer box. And like I say, that Dragapult, that is one of the best pulls you can get from the entire set is that full art Dragapult. And I know it was day one of Twilight Masquerade on PCG Live yesterday. And people, Tatsugiri, best card in the set in my eyes. Morpeko. Hey! Oh, what a pack. We'll get to that in a second. Monkey Dory, great card. Very, very good card. And gold, buddy, buddy, Poffin. That is another one of the best cards that you can pull from the set. Because Buddy Buddy Poffin is a staple. This is the gold version of it. People are... There's also a League promo version, so you have to choose between them. This is awesome. Yeah, we, we are getting there, ladies and gentlemen. Gold Buddy Buddy Poffin and Full Art Dragapult. Awesome. But yeah, yesterday was day one of Twilight Masquerade on PTCG Live. And people have apparently already decided Dragapult's not good. Just wait for NAIC. That's when this set becomes legal for the first time. And I think Dragapult is going to be showing up quite nicely. So we got Applin, Clefairy, and Frostlass. Another good hollow into that. And he's got a really nice ability. Drops damage counters on Pokemon with rule boxes during Pokemon checkup. Seven packs down, four packs to go. We've had a decent EX, the best full art EX, and the best gold card. Well, you could argue Teal Mask Ogre is the best gold card. But I think the best gold card. We are doing very well. Let's hope there's a, another good card or two in here. Hey, my boy Snorlax. There's your Heatran. Ah, oh, Luxray EX. Not a phenomenal pull, but it is a good EX. Two energy, 120, and you get to discard a card you find there. Not too bad at all. Yes, it's a stage two, which is a little bit awkward, but that's not terrible. I'm going to sleeve up the Norlax as well, because I think Snorlax is cool, honestly. This card isn't great. Uh, I'll be truthful, but, you know, still like Snorlax. Still one of my favorites. Second best of the Gen 1 Pokemon. Right, what are we on? Three packs remaining. We've got two EXs, a full art, and a gold. We've done all right, but, you know... More, more, more can be done. There's more good cards that we can pull here. Right, there's your Chansey, Hyogunasuke. There's your Clefairy. Diplin, love this Diplin. You get to attack twice and do 100 damage each time. It's awesome. We got a Molga, Iron Bundle, and Okie Dogie. I don't mind Okie Dogie. That's the one that does, if you've got a Darkness Energy on there, you do 170 and you have 230 HP. And the theory, of course, is that you attach a Darkness Energy and a Luminous Energy. And the Luminous Energy will count as fighting for the attack cost and Darkness for the ability. It's not a terrible plan. I'm just not super loving it, honestly. It's just fine. But Okie Dogie EX coming in Shrouded Fable. That is going to be a very, very good card. Right, we got Rev Hollow Heracross. Rev Hollow Isui and Growlithe, and Iron Leaves. Oh, the box has got a bit cold, ladies and gentlemen. But we have one more pack remaining. And look, we've already hit Full Art Dragapult. We've already hit Gold Buddy Buddy Poffin and a couple of extra EXs to boot. We're not desperate to hit, like, one more card to make it a good box. It's already a good Elite Trainer box. But come on, let's get some last pack magic going as well. Okay, Varum, Wattrell. Kind of like the artwork on that one. Sand Slash. Oh, we skipped past the regular Iron Bundle. Lucian. Lucian's... What was it called? Oh my goodness. Lucian's Simon? The old Lucian card. I'm the only one I ever saw play that. It was a cool card. Rev Follow Caretaker. Oh, there we go. Sunflora. 
Uh, I literally just finished making a video about the new secret rares that were shown off from Night Wonder or Shrouded Fable. And it's got the horsey by, what's the artist's name then? Shinja Komatsu. And they've got a very distinctive style. And I was talking about this on Flora card because it's got, you know, artists have a distinctive style. And now we get it. And look, I'm, I'm just calling it. That's a good, that's a good box. Luxray and Halfway Mask are okay EXs, but then we get your Sunflora Illustration Rare, your Buddy Buddy Poffin, your Gold Version, and your Full Art Dragapult. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm happy. And of course, let's face it, we mostly bought it for the promo. Like that's the number one reason why you buy the Elite Trainer Box anyway. So yeah, I'm calling that a win, frankly. Go team! Okay, right, uh, I think we're done with this one. So yeah. Um, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, check out their Patreon, patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, and of course, oh, and actually in the comments, because it sets out now, tell me what your pulls have been like, tell me what you picked up, what you pulled, tell me all your stories, go nuts, be nice, and then yeah, look out yourselves till next time, thank you very much for watching, my name is Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio, bye.